hello guys welcome to my youtube channel and this is part three of um getting started um knowing how to uh, model and how to understand your blender interface okay it's just a beginner's guide to um understanding blender so much so as we proceed we'll be doing a lot and we'll be doing so many models with blender so let's proceed um so this year we stopped um on part two so let's go to tab click tab to go back to um your object mode so now let's delete these tools by clicking delete on your keyboard now it's out uh, let's bring in a cube shift a to bring in an object let's go to mesh and bring in a cube so now we have a cube like i said let's go to edit mode so by doing that click tab while you select um this um cube by left clicking on it and click tab on your keyboard now we are on edit mode so now what we want to do i want to show us some principles on how to use the edge selection um how to extrude and uh, the vectors and the phases so now this is a face of our cube so we can come to our move tool and move this face downwards you see it's coming down you can select this other face and move on the y axis you can select this face also and move on the x axis so what i want to do now is that i want to add what we call loop cuts loop cuts loop cuts so to, to add a loop cut to this mesh control arrow to add loop cuts so once you click control arrow on your keyboard you will see a loop that is around this um uh, mesh here so we left click on it and once you left click first you see two arrows opposite each other facing directly opposite each other and you can move um this arrow to this point or you can move your loop to this point or you can move your loop to the center so now let's move it to this um um point here and let's left click to activate that loop so now we can say control arrow again control arrow and to add another loop cut we can say left click to add a loop cut and move it to this point and say okay to this point and say okay and now here we see a note here that says loop cuts and slide and if you come down it says numbers of cuts so we can increase our cuts here also we can say two loop cuts we can say three loop cuts also so we can do even but not this now we don't need that now so we can say the factor that means we can move our loop cuts we can increase the factor and reduce the factor that means we, are, we want to move it either sideways or so there are other things you can still check on you can see swear you can check on play around with stuffs the follow-up to be smooth so that's to add loop cuts now let me do ctrl z back uh let me add one i'm not showing another way of adding many numbers of loop cuts so we do ctrl arrow on your keyboard left click and no ctrl z back okay ctrl arrow again and before you left click now you can scroll up and down to add multiple loop cuts or reduce your loop cuts so we can scroll up and down to add multiple loop cuts or we can scroll down to reduce it so let's just add one and left click and move to this point so now since we have added loop cut let's bring this down since we have added loop cuts we now have multiple faces in here so now let's press three on our keyboard so now we have many faces once you add a loop cut that means you have ink so so now we have have so many faces and so many edges and so many vectors additional edges additional vectors additional faces so now i want to show us how to extrude the face this is a face this is a face this is a face so now on your keyboard select this face <coughs> sorry for that you can select this face and say e for extrusion e for extrusion so that's the shortcut key okay we can also select this face also and come to this region here that says extrude region so if you click on it you will see and you will see a small circle the yellow circle with a plus sign in it um click on that uh, plus sign and drag so now we can extrude inwards or outwards so let's extrude outwards and let's deselect by clicking this place this arrow there and so now we have deformed our shape we can select here also here also and say e on our keyboard and say z 
it extrude on the z axis so now like i said we can add loop cuts here Control arrow to add a loop cut here so now we have another loop cut here and we can press 3 on our keyboard or face selection and we can say e again to extrude uh, this region so just try that on your keyboard so we can select two faces by holding shift select this face or uh, okay let's select this face and this face by holding shift and let's say e again so now we can extrude two regions at the same time we can left click you can select here select here okay let's go back to tab to edit mode select here hold shift select here and select okay let me say select here also no hold shift select here select here and select here also now we'll say e so you see that now that we can extrude because um because these objects are not facing one direction they are facing different directions so we can't do that so let's do ctrl z back so we can only do that by okay let's select here we can also do that by coming to this point where we have our extrude region there is a small arrow there that we can check so now let's click on that small arrow highlight the arrow so it shows you while holding your left click it shows you a note a menu here an extrusion menu so now let's come to extrude individuals so if we click on extrude in the individuals you see this sign here again and if we drag it we bring our mouse our uh, cursor here and drag you see that we can extrude individuals so we can extrude inwards and outwards so we can select here also and select a uh, hold shift and select here also and select here also and still on uh, our extrude individual activated we can also still extrude individuals like this also so this can help us to build something and let's deselect also and um, let's see how we can extrude an edge so we can also extrude edge so that's for face selection you can come to our edge by clicking two on our keyboard or you come here and say edge selection we can select this edge and say e on our keyboard that means now um, now we can drag this that means we have select um, this edge and we can also extrude an edge so we can also so let's do ctrl z um we can come here to vector selection select one vector we can extrude the vectors if we say e on our keyboard we have extruded these vectors these vectors here so let's do ctrl z back we don't want to extrude that vectors so now what i want to show you now is how to insert and how to insert a face so back to our face selection three on our keyboard for face selection so we can select this face and say i on our keyboard so we say i and move your uh, mouse inwards and outwards to determine your insertion your level of insertion let's insert to this point so we can also um, release by right clicking so we can also scale this region that we have insert we can say s to scale we can say scale on the z axis s and z so we can scale only on the z axis so now we can insert multiple phases we can select this face by holding shift and select this other face by holding shift select this face also by holding shift select this face also by holding shift and we say i on our keyboard to insert multiple faces so we say i we can also extrude that face too and say e and we have extrude those faces so this is um basically how to use um your face selection edge selection vector selection how to extrude and how to insert and how to add loop cut to your mesh and also i want to show us how to bevel another tool is called the bevel tool and this is where we can bevel also and the shortcut for bevel is ctrl b so now let's go to our edge selection by clicking to our keyboard or try to use this place um let's select um okay let's look for an edge that we can bevel okay let's select this edge here okay let's select this first let's select these edges 
select these two edge and let's say control b so it shows that we can bevel this point but i don't want us to use that face um okay let's use this place we can select this edge and say control b control b and you see that um our edge is being beveled it's being split into two and uh, we can screw up to add more edge loops so now we have this kind of curve shape here let's do that for the dan select this um, edge here and say ctrl b on your keyboard and you see that now we have beveled this so we can reduce our beveled um, loop or we can add multiple loops also so now this bevel helps us create um kind of um curved curved shape not we having a very sharp edge so now we can also come here and bevel can come to this place also select this face and uh, we can come to this region to bevel where we have bevel and say bevel and we drag this upwards and we can see how it looks like we can come to this point where we have bevel charts we can click on it and see what we can add also in this um, bevel so we can come here and say um, width we can increase the bevel width we can say segment to add multiple segments we can say eight we can reduce it to seven we can say shape bevel shape so we can reduce the bevel shape so we can have we can reduce the bevel shape we can create so many things um with this we can use the bevel shape like this um let's say it has this kind of shape and let's add some segments to it to be very more round Okay, let's leave this as zero so there are different things we can do with it there are different things we can say arc there are different things we can do we can we can just play around this we can play around we can come to um superlize we can come to custom on arc so there are different ways of beveling there are different ways let's say sharp let's say custom this is how it looks like you can say um come to meter and say sharp let's say custom you see that they are almost the same so there are different ways to bevel we can shape also let's leave it this way and uh, we are good to go okay let's say hardening normals so so we can just play around all these also this is this is another bevel we can say um vectors bevel so we can also do some kind of tweaking and say vectors bevel so this is what it does um so we can reduce segment also so so you can create so some really cool stuffs in here some really really cool stuffs in here we can say okay so we can create some really really cool stuff in here and um just play around and see how things look like so that's all for edit mode for now for this tutorial on our next tutorial we'll be modeling a simple table thanks for watching please kindly share like comment follow on instagram follow me on facebook um follow me on uh, art station you can follow me on twitter also so uh, my link is down there so you can subscribe to my page also and you can share on my youtube channel also to friends thanks for watching i hope this tutorial has helped you a lot